Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hello my fellow trucketeers. Today is a day. <laughs> Monday 8th of November. And today we we are back in the old flatbeds. Woo! Much prefer doing the flatbed work. <laughs> Much more fun. Yeah, we're down in pool docks at the moment, so yeah, in the old Brittany ferry terminal bit. Which yeah. Apparently uh we've got a load of rebar to take to Kent somewhere. Uh, Chatham Docks, I think it is. So yeah, never been there before. Never carried this stuff before. So there it is. There's a rebar. So yeah. like 13 meter long, so it's pretty much the length of the trailer. <laughs> so yeah, should be interesting. A few days. I'll, I'll film today and tomorrow anyway, and then we'll see what happens after that. Because I think tomorrow I've got a load to collect from there to take back down this way somewhere. So yeah, sitting born to somewhere down this way. Yeah, somewhere near Taunton, I think. Not exactly sure where. <laughs> anyway, I've woken up a bit of a headache this morning, so we'll see how the day sort of perseveres with that. But we should be all good. I'm literally waiting for them to finish loading the guy with bricks, and then someone's going to come over and then load all this rebar for me. So we can crack on then. And then I've got to go get weighed up. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> crack on the Kent, I guess. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Fire up the beast. <laughs> we are loaded. That's it, we've got, I can't remember now. So many packs of uh, rebar on. You'll probably see on the side cam there. I can't remember how many packs it was. It was, uh, it was 13 meter, but I think it was 12 packs or something like that. So it was a fair old weight there. Dragged the trailer around. And now we've got to go get weighed out, and then we're on our way. We'll get our paperwork and be on our way. So, yeah, because it's so long, what they have to do, they lift it up on two forklifts, they drive backwards, I reverse underneath it, and then they drop it on me. And then rinse and repeat until we got them all on. I think it was four lifts in total they done. So they lift up so many in one go and then dropped it. And then, yeah, this, that, and the other. Not done anything like that, quite like that before. Near enough, but not quite. But yeah, that nah, wasn't too bad. But now we've got to go back on the way bridge, get our way ticket, go in the office, give them that, get our uh, delivery notes, which are then taking these to wherever it was I said it was. I can't remember now. <laughs> Chatham Docks or something like that. Should we go put an axe on this waybridge and put him overweight? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? After 100 yards, sharp left, Hugie Road, then take the second right. And you see these waybridges are always rather tight to get on. All of them. There's not one that's easy and wide to get on or anything. Oh, there's one of our other trucks there. Looks like he's collected something from around here as well. You alright there? Good, you all right? Yeah, not too bad. Where are you off here? Uh, somewhere in Kent. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> Cheers. That was Colin. That was that was the boss's dad. All right. Let's go forward now, and hopefully we're uh, within the length of the. Law. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm on in the gear. There we go. Yeah, we are within the law. <laughs> we are at 43 tons, 460 kilos. So yeah, we got a spare 540 kilos. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, let's pop in here, go in the office, get our paperwork, and then we'll head off to Kent. I'll, uh, well, I'll see you much later. <laughs> see you in a bit. All right, here we are in Chatham. Never been here before, so always a new place. Always fun going to new places. Well, obviously, that also means I've never been to this customer, so I've got to find where they are, which, uh, can be interesting sometimes. I mean, they're quite clearly marked on the old uh, Googles, so I've already sort of had a look. Oh, as soon as I turn the camera, I start yawning. Terribly sorry. <laughs> That's not even been too long a drive, what, about f just over three hours, 20 minutes, something like that? So, three and a half hours by the time I get there. So yeah, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Somewhere in that area. <laughs> Apparently we're still two miles away, but we'll see on that one. Alright, what's this all about? So... There's a tunnel. Alright. Am I allowed in a tunnel? <laughs> uh, I was going to say I'm not allowed. No horse-drawn vehicles, no horses, no people, no bikes. Right. Okay. Is there a height limit on this tunnel? Because <laughs> if there is, it could be a bit late to tell me about it now. Pretty high to hit that, I think. <laughs> Do like a good tunnel. I'll go wrong with tunnels, that. around that bit and then go that way. Okay. That's confusing me then for a second. It didn't I didn't understand. Docks that way. What why why are you taking me that I could have Oh stupid sat nav. <laughs> I could have just slipped straight off that way. Oh no. 
That's right, Satnav. I'll go the awkward way you're sending me. Obviously, I will know for future reference that I can just turn that way. <laughs> oh, my word. Silly thing. Well, that's fine. I'll sit through several lots of traffic lights rather than just one. <sighs> See, this is why you never rely on sat-navs. You take them with a pinch of salt. I'm not going to get through this. Yeah, we'll get through that. Not a problem. But yeah, that didn't need to be as difficult as it was. As I mean, it's not difficult, but <laughs> a bit more long-winded than it needed to be. See, could have just gone in that way, but no. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up now. Right, you're trying to take me down that way, is that correct? So, I don't know. Oh, oh, pardon me. Oh, I definitely can't go that way. Hmm. Oh, I have a feeling you've taken me completely the wrong side. Thing is, to put the same postcode into both Google Maps and the sat nav, and it looks like they've taken me to do different areas. I don't know, I'll have to have a look in a bit. Because I have a feeling where I want to be is over there somewhere. Alright, let's stop here for a second and have a quick look. All right, so we've turned around. Uh, hopefully try and uh, go the right way this time. <laughs> it's saying there's a road that joins up over there, but it really doesn't look like I can get through that way, so. Looks like I can go this way and get around this way. So, uh, live and learn, like I said, I've never been here before, so. I'm just going where that's telling me. I've had a look and it's saying I can go this way, but we'll see. It's looking... Uh, a little bit blocked off down there, but we'll soon see. I'm sure someone would point me in the right direction anyway. So, let's go speak to this guy in a security hut. See what they say. I've been doing a bit of braking and I'm heavy. My brakes are stinking. <laughs> They're a bit warm. Where I'm going is over there across the water, so we got to drive through the docks now, you see. So we'll drive through a minute. Lots of big ships unloading things. So we've got to go up here, turn right, go along that bit of road, go right. <laughs> and then it's down there somewhere. Oh, it's, it's there. I can see it. It's over there. Oh, that's a surprise speed up that one. <laughs> it's one of those ones that just suddenly jump out. One of those magic speed ups that just suddenly appear on the road. Like, surprise! It's like, ah. This one's visible, I can see this one. <laughs> Probably helps that I actually pay attention, so. Oh, that's right, buddy. You can wait there a second, I'm sure. Thank you all. Da, 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 da. Lots and lots of steel reels there. Eh? Lots of steel. All of the steel. At the end of the road, turn right, Barrack Road. Yes, boss. Turn right. I think I'll go over a bridge apparently as well. Turn right. No, in the docks it'll be two twigs that you've got to traverse your wheels over to get over the water. <laughs> I had to do a delivery once in a van to um, the lifeguard station at um, uh, Weymouth. 
Um, it's, it's, it's literally like a, a quayside you drive down and it's probably only about a foot wide than the van itself. So very, very narrow. And then well, it's probably about two foot wide than the van. I don't want to exaggerate too much. Um, it's a 10.5 axle ton bridge. Mm. Could be all right, surely. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, so when, you, when you're going towards the lifeguard station, there's also a place where they build boats. So they got a little panel that covers the road, well, like, like the waterway that you drive over. And it's literally just a plate of steel you drive over. It's, it's very, very nerve wracking. But uh, yeah, wouldn't be able to do it in a truck, no way. You'd end up driving into the quayside. <laughs> <laughs> Splish. But yeah, because there was no way of turning the van round there either. I had to have a all the way out. <laughs> that was in one of my old jobs. That was that was probably back in 2005, six. I've done that, so I don't know whether that jetty's still there or not. But yeah, yeah, that was quite nerve wracking. That one, I must admit. All right. I'm fine where we're taking this stuff now. Over here somewhere. Oh, like he's got a rebar on, so... Oh dear, a bit bumpy on there. Come on, Downton. Hmm. I'm listening. Insane enough and sent So I've got to go through here, have I? After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. You stay there a second, Van. Do not enter our premises if you have new... Oh, contagious cough or fever. Okay, that's fine. So I take it, I go in this way then. Alright, we'll leave it here. I'll see you in a bit when I'm done. Alright. That's that one done. Took a little while to unload that one. It's now... Uh, I got there at what? Just after half past one. It's now quarter to four, so... Two and a quarter hours. You, they unloaded me with like a gantry crane and lifted off two bundles at a time, but it, it just seemed to take longer. <laughs> it was a lot quicker loading with the forklifts. They seemed to do three at a time, which was a lot, lot quicker. But, yeah, it is what it is. Never mind. So we got them all unloaded. Uh, there was another trailer there before me as well, so I had to wait for that trailer to be unloaded and then the trailer to be hitched up and moved out of the way so I can get into the unloading area. But yeah. So yeah, we're going to come out of here now. We're going to head all the way out to Sittingbourne now, which is only 31 minutes away, which is a massive amount of distance. And then we're going to go do a collection ready for delivery tomorrow. So yeah, got a fair old amount to do. Too bad. I'll be at this collection at about 20 past four, so I'm hoping I'm not too late for them. <laughs> It'd be nice to get it on the day, because I was about to try and find some of this park in Sittingbourne and... I know the whole parking around Kent thing isn't the best at the moment. But I'm pretty sure the bands are lifted now, but still. <laughs> All right, I go across this dodgy bridge now, but we're a lot lighter now, so we didn't go through it when we were fully weighted. So being at 16 and a half ton, I think we'll be all right now. Anyway, I'll leave that there, and I'll see you a bit later when I get to my collection point. Yes. See you soon. Soon, soon shortly. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I'll see you so soon, or I will see you shortly, one or the other. <laughs> oh dear, I've lost my marbles, haven't I? 25 minutes later, <laughs> we're just coming into Sittingbourne. Yeah, not too far off now, four minutes away. Um, One thing I have noticed while I was parked up, I uh, walked around the truck, uh, I had my headlight changed and uh, it's not quite seated right so it's pointing up a little bit so when I stop at the services later I'm going to buy me a little tool kit if they've got one there hopefully one with a because I need a T30 Torx bit to undo the cover to get to the back of the headlight I've only got a T25 and it's nowhere near big enough to fit so yeah one of them things <laughs> it's just pointing up ever so slightly so 
I think it's annoying a few people. Uh, it is what it is. Like I said once I get a tool, I'll uh, try and fix it. I'm pretty sure they'll have one at Cobham Services. Anyway, it's only like 20 past four and the nights are definitely drawing in now. It's, it's, it's gonna be dark before I leave this place, I reckon. So probably after this one, I won't have a face cam because you just won't see me, so yeah. Eh. I don't even know what I'm collecting from here. We'll find out when we get there, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> Never been here before either. I know Lenham have got a warehouse out here somewhere in Singapore, but I've never been there. So, yeah. Never know, I might drive past it. <laughs> nice and only got some laybys out here we can park up in for the night and hopefully not get clamped. <laughs> I don't know what the whole situation with Kemp is at the moment. I'm pretty sure we are allowed to park where we can, as long as it's never stupid. I think it was just because of the whole um, shutting of the border thing last year. Oh, I'm not going to get into that. I don't do politics and that, so... No politics talk on this channel. <laughs> I'll try and keep it as trucking orientated as we can without getting into that side of it. Apparently got to come off here, here, down Dorset, start talk Dorset, and all that. So we can go a bit softer and go a bit more summer's fat. Anyway, we're in Kent, they talk posh around it. <laughs> I probably don't, but some of the places in Kent they do talk a bit more posh. Yeah, it's definitely going to be dark by the time I leave this place. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, the place that I was going to go and work at, well, they're all up and running now. So they're all operational. Not, not like, fully at the moment, so... I felt I would have been quite quiet still on the old work side of things, but I would have had a job, but yeah, I'm sort of glad I've sort of come over here really is. The line of work's a bit more um suited for the videos I guess. And for me. I like variety. I would have been a bit more uh, boring. Uh yeah, Elaine's got a job there, she's inside doing packing and whatever, a bit of cleaning. Yeah, she's getting on alright there. So that's good. That's always nice because if anything does happen with this job, I've got that to go to, so he always said he'll have a place for me, which is nice. Ah, there we are right there. There's a great big red sign saying where I'm going, so After that's how you've got to go in this way. <laughs> oh, it's like quite a big place, so... Yeah. Alright, so we're going to head on here, find out what we're picking up, pick it up, and uh, head on out, I guess. <laughs> Alright, hello my fellow truckateers. It's now dark. Like I said it would be. <laughs> it's now 5.48, we've been here uh, a little while. Well, I get here, 20 past four, so an hour and 28 minutes. Took a little while to load up. I had to wait for them to be free as well. Uh, this is Nicole's, Nicole's is it? Yeah, transport place in Sittingbourne. Um, apparently, if you need to park up, you can pay a little bit and they allow you to park up. There's a shower, toilets and a canteen as well. So, yeah, if you're over in the area and you need somewhere to stop, because I know Ken can be a bit funny, yeah, they allow you to park up in the yard. I know there's other companies that do it as well, but I don't know who, what, why, but, um, yeah, more companies should definitely take that on board, you know, especially if they've got room in the yard. Why not let uh, truckers park in the yard? You know, especially if you're a 24-hour operation, you're always going to be open, there's always going to be someone there. Why not? I, mean, I would go then, but there's a truck coming. Oh, no, he's letting me go. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of wood on us at the moment, a lot of timber. And it's all going to a little farm down in Dartmouth, I believe it is. So, it's five hours and 41 minutes away, so we're never going to get there today, because, 
you know, that'll be an impossible feat, and plus it'll put me way over my hours driving time and working time. So I'm going to try and get as far as maybe fleet services. I reckon I should be able to get there in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I'm already into my 13th hour of the day now. So I started at half five this morning, it's now quarter to six, so... No, I'm at 12 hours and 15 minutes, so... I don't mind cracking on into a 15 today, and I don't want to go into a 10 hour drive today. So I've got three and a half hours more drive than I can use up today, so we'll uh, drive as far as we can. If I can get further than Fleet, then I'll carry on further than Fleet. Because I'm going to go to um, Dartmouth, then I presume it's going to take me all the way across to 303 that way, so. I could potentially get even as far as Andover, maybe a little further than that. There's plenty of laybys and that along there to park in. There's even obviously the Portway Industrial Estate in Andover, which is usually pretty good to park in, and Woolworth. Yeah. So I might go park up around there somewhere, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll, I'll see how far I get, I'll see what time it is when I get the fleet, and then I'll make a decision on where I want to stop for the night. But for now, I'm going to leave it there because it's dark. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Right, there we are, coming to the end of my day. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So we're just sort of near Cam, well, we're in Camberley, uh, going on to add the I don't know, whatever this industrial estate is called. <laughs> yeah. So there's another industrial estate called 303. There's an industrial estate here which is relatively quiet. Hopefully we can get a space on it tonight because then uh, yeah I don't mind stopping here it's free parking then and, like I said it's fairly quiet so I don't worry about that too much uh, so it just depends how many trucks are already here because I think quite a few people come on this one because uh, yeah a lot of people know about it let's see if we can get a space down here oh there's a load of trucks here already Oh, you've got two awkward ones parked on that side of the road rather than that side of the road. So that's going to make it tricky to park up. Mind you, I could park in front of these guys. Shouldn't be an issue. Most people park on this side, you see. But then I could always park right at the bottom. A lot of people park right at the bottom, so I might do that. So, do a whack that on, and then I'll park up down there. It's not going to hurt, is it? I'll be gone at five in the morning anyway, so it makes no difference to me. Let's do the window down. Admiralty Way. So I'm... Oh, there is no lamp post there, that's good. slightly I've got to be careful how far I go back because I've got a bit of an overhang with this trailer because it's all timber and that it's uh, 
it overhangs the trailer at probably about a metre. So I think you're allowed about a metre and a half, but I do have a high vis tied on the back to uh, obviously so people can see I'm overhung, but well, I've got an overhang, but yeah. Right, <laughs> that's me for tonight. I'm going to cook some food. That's 14 hours and 15 minutes roughly, so that'll do for one day. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow at some point. Good night. Alright, hello and good morning. <laughs> so, I stayed where I stayed last night. Reasonably peaceful, weren't too bad. Slept okay. Uh, I left there about quarter past five this morning, 20 past five, something like that. Uh, it is now 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10, 10 to 10. And uh, we are at Telegraph Hill. So on the A380, A38 split. So we're gonna go down the A38 apparently. So we're gonna go crawling up this hill. We're gonna put quite a bit of strain on the old engine because we're quite heavy. So we're gonna be uh, chugging away up here. Already down to 32 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, there's 30. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We've, we've already driven for three and a half hours today, so that's how long I've been going for. Uh, filled up at fleet, so I put some fuel in and then uh, had another break here at um, uh, Exeter Services. And now we're sort of continuing the rest of our journey because I would have been about 10 minutes over a four and a half hour drive to get there in one go. I don't know, a bit of traffic or whatever is obviously extended that time period because it was saying four hours and 20 minutes yesterday but obviously I don't want to risk getting there and not being able to have a break I'm sure I will be able to but yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna be over four and a half by the time I get there anyway so we'll just uh, we'll just run it as is we've had a break now so we got a clean hour and 20 minute drive there so not a problem yeah, you just got to plan your day around that sometimes just how it is I think yeah last night the that was originally sent me up the A38, but well, and A380 even. But today it's telling me to go this way, so yeah, it knows best for whatever reason. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, we're gonna chug on up this hill. We're down to 25 now. It'll probably get a bit slower in a minute. Would have been even slower up the other hill because I think the A380 is a little bit steeper than the A38. Oh, there we go labouring now almost down to 20 <laughs> go on Volvo with your 540 horsepower <laughs> wish I had more <laughs> alright I'll see you in about an hour and 15 minutes and we're down near Dartmouth everything's overtaking me alright here we are down pretty much Dartmouth way it's uh, very very tight and twisty around here <laughs> uh, my brakes are stinking from all the up and down hills as well my brakes are absolutely roasting I haven't had any brake fade yet but I don't think I'm too far off of it but yeah this was definitely uh, one to test your nerves I guess thank you I think I haven't even got under the narrow bits yet <laughs> There has been a few narrow bits, but this this bit coming out is going to be like the worst bit. We're saying we're about 12 minutes away. This, is, this could be a longer section of the film where I might chop up some bits if nothing interesting happens. You never know. Anyway, that, that's how close we are to the sea. It's, it's literally there. So, oh, there's a juice in the truck. So that's somewhat of a good sign. It means the trucks do come down here. Fairly few instant instances where I've been like had to stop on an uphill and then tried to set away and I'm just wheel spinning <laughs> uh, we've, we've got moving and got out of trouble so nothing too major there was one bit where it narrows and there was a, a truck up front carrying a digger so he was a wide load and an escorted wide load so under three meters probably um, anyway I was waiting for him to move on to clear the room for the uh, bit of road that narrows so I've got room to get up there so I don't obviously stop any because if I if I move up and block the narrow bit no one can get past me which means cars up ahead that this truck's waiting to go past won't be able to get past him 
so I'm doing a sensible thing. Anyway, as I'm sat there waiting, two cars just go past me. I'm like, oh, I'm not sat over for the fun of it, you know. I am waiting for this uh, traffic to move on so I can actually move, but no. I'm not getting blasted the horn anyway, but little does that do. Right, unless you're going to wait for me. You. There we go. Sorry, I can stop that BMW, that'd be fine. Cool. Let's see who comes racing around the corner up here. So I get a shock. Oh, hello. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna have to move. You're alright there. You're alright. Right. You're gonna wait there, Van? Is there room for me to get through up here? Oh, this is narrow. Yes, yeah, so I've got to watch the houses as well, make sure I don't touch the houses. Getting probably a nice whiff of my brakes as I go past. <laughs> it's a good thing I did stop for a break earlier because I'm well over four and a half hours now, otherwise. I mean, I'm only an hour and 35 minutes into a drive at the moment, but if I didn't stop for my 45, I would have been like five hours before I got here. I mean, I could have stopped later on, but I would have still needed to stop regardless, so. It was nice to stop where I did. Oh, I was saying to someone in the group chat earlier, you always know it's going to be a fun drop when you're given a map which says do not follow that nav as those roads are too tight. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> sort of uh, set you up before you leave sort of thing. Oh dear. Keep going. I'll stay there. It's fine. But you're gonna have to move now because uh, I can't get past this guy, boys. Oh, yeah, I can. Almost where I need to be. More cars coming through. Alright, you stay there a second because I need to move out. You're right where you are. I needed a little room, I only needed about two or three foot. <laughs> oh, just wait for this car to come down. Got a bit of a cube behind me, I'm sure they're all upset with me, but never mind. Oh dear, that's not gonna work. Or is it? Might be alright. Gonna get close to you though. <laughs> I've just come up on a little place called Frogmore. So if any of you know where Frogmore is, obviously you'll know what this place is like. <laughs> Forward, are you? There we go, you've got more room than I have. Right, stay there, van. There we go, we're past that. This isn't the narrow bit, <laughs> apparently. Thank you very much.
Uh, I've got uh, my next job through. Uh, from what I can see, it looks like I'm moving containers. So whether I'm moving it on this trailer or whether I've got to go back to the yard to collect a different trailer, I don't know. Because we have uh, flatbeds that have twist locks on them. This one doesn't have any on them. Uh, I mean, if I do have to do it, this one, then I'll just chuck straps over it and strap it on. But, which is totally acceptable to do. It's just easier with twist locks. Because <laughs> you just go, that's it, and you're done. anyone's thatch roof off eh? that'll really ruin their winter I'm sure my boss won't be too happy about it either At least it'll be easier coming out because I won't be anywhere near as heavy. <laughs> Turn right. Wait, let me go out. Come on. Right, apparently I've got to go this way. This is the way the map's telling me to go, so. Apparently the other way is too narrow. <laughs> nice and easy through here, I think. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh no, this is going to be fun, isn't it? I hope no one's coming the other way. Oh crap. Don't wheel spin, don't wheel spin, don't do that to me. Try a bit of deflock, see what that does. Hmm. Oh no. No, 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 no. button which puts a bit more weight in the rear airbag see what that does oh we're moving we are moving <laughs> oh, do you really want to snatch another gear? I'm keeping you in manual. There we go. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh no, Van, you're gonna have to back up. <laughs> Let's go for second. We got second, we got second. Go for third. I got the old ticker going a bit. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. You're a star. I really didn't want to stop again because I might not, especially not next to them other vehicles. Because if I started wheel spinning next to them, I could have like slipped out towards them, and then that would have not been good. The thing is, with the drop axle down. It takes some of the weight off your uh, drive axle. No, no, no. You have to go back, mate. You have to go back. Don't make me stop. Oh, that drain was slippery. So what you got? You got, you got a button on here. So obviously I've got the diff lock on, which I'm going to turn off now because I don't need it. Um. There's a button that applies more air in, because obviously when your drop axle goes down, it lifts some of the pressure off your, your drive axle. So, uh, there's a button that puts more pressure in the drive axle airbags, which obviously plays more force onto the drive axle, which uh, in turn gives you a lot more traction. Obviously, as you can see, it helped out a lot in that situation. <sighs> Good man, thank you very much. All right, I think that's it, we're at the top of the hill now. See if I was empty, that would have been no trouble at all getting up there. Just the fact the truck went, no, I want first gear. And it's like, nope. Oh, I think it's just taking the air out of them airbags now because I don't need it. So I think once you get over a certain speed, it then uh, reverts back to normal. Which I think is 20 mile an hour. Oh, no, 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 that's it, you're diving there. Thank you very much, love. On future note, if I come this way, I'll stick it in manual before I start going up that hill, because it's where it went the first gear, that's when I had the trouble. Obviously, if I had it in manual mode and then, like, had it in third, I think I would have been alright and been able to go through it. All right, apparently I've got to turn left here, which is more than 90 degrees. <laughs> and I've got a big overhang as well, so that uh, should be all right. Should have plenty of room to get around it. Yeah, it will take it nice and deep. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. <sighs> Unshootable for HGVs, you think? Yeah. Oh. I think if it was a wet, wet, rainy day, I don't think I would have got up there at all. I would have really struggled, I think. That moment where you're trying to go forwards up a hill and you start going backwards. <laughs> uh, we managed, oh, it's a bit muddy here. Let's slow down a bit. Farms are always fun, aren't they? I think that's why a lot of drivers like the tag axles with the rear axle on the unit that lifts because you always got a lot more traction on them. Uh, each to their own. You've done well, old girl. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely not had that before. I can change that to get now.
font. Is that where I've got going? I believe so. First up against the bank. We didn't go up it though, so that's a good thing. All right, yeah, that was fun. That's all off, unloaded, and stuff. I haven't set my sat nav yet, so I'll do that in a bit. Once I sort of get out of here, I know roughly which way I'm heading at the moment. Though I may actually stop in a minute to put the sat nav in. To be fair. <clears throat> Righto, that's the sat nav all plumbed in. Apparently, I'm three hours away from where I'm collecting from. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing a long drive today. Um, because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to collect one today. According to the paperwork, I'm supposed to collect two today, but that ain't going to happen. Don't have enough hours. Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, apparently. I don't know if you've heard of him, but Trucker J in the UK, he's just a small YouTuber, just started. Um, he's uh, had very much similar issues to me today with uh, narrow roads that are, um, well, very slippery and narrow and farmish. So yeah, so uh, he's had fun as well. <laughs> yeah, these sort of roads are always fun. That old bloke's going for a pee in the hedge, as you do. Yeah, so we're going to take it nice and easy down here, because obviously we d the situation when you're trying to go forwards and you start slipping backwards is controllable to an extent. But when you're going forwards down the hill and you hit your brakes and you're still going forwards, that's when you have really big issues. <laughs> so it's best to take it nice and easy. Yeah, shouldn't be an issue. I mean, I'm light now as well, so that's going to help. Anyway, we're going to go to Newport now, because we've got to collect some containers. A bit more room in this one. <laughs> there we go. And then I think they got to go to Yeovilton, I think. So it might be a military job, so I might not be able to film a lot of it. So we'll see. I might film something in between, but I won't be able to feel like film like picking it up or dropping it off. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So uh, I'm going to mosey on somewhere, right, I'm going to phone up my boss, see what he wants me to do, see if I've got to do a trailer swap first, because obviously it would be better to do it with a trailer that's got twist locks rather than one that hasn't, but like I say it doesn't matter if I don't, I'll just throw some ratchets over. Yeah, and then we'll uh, go from there. Yeah, I'm going to film until I get out this bit of road anyway, because this, this is the tricky section. I see all my wheel spin marks. Hopefully I haven't tore the road up at all, because obviously that's an issue that can happen when you start wheel spinning in a truck, you can end up tearing the road up. When I was going to Widdicombe in the Moor, which is right on the top of Dartmoor National Park, um, the road I was going up that I normally got to get there, it was a very, very hot day, and there was a tanker trying to get up there. And he just kept wheel spinning, wheel spinning, wheel spinning, he was just tearing the tarmac up. Just go going that way, going that way. Because there's bits where the sun comes through and um, makes the tarmac really hot. There. And obviously, He's trying to get up with all that weight and he's trying to get up wheel spins and it just rips the tarmac up. Yeah, engine brake on. Hopefully no one's coming up because it'll be a bit difficult for them to pass me now. Come on, nice and easy. No one come up, no one come up. Yeah, 
Alright, this is where I'll go spin in here. coming now it's gonna have to reverse because there's nowhere for them to go because I need all the room in the world oh no oh, you're gonna need to move mate maybe a bit more than that nah, that's right you're good sorted that's it that's the tricky bit done right end film now okay here we are in Newport. It's not containers we're picking up, it's cabins. I read that wrong apparently, because apparently in my head, cabins and containers look the same. <laughs> They're 20 foot cabins apparently. So I've got three runs of that to do, one today and two tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna get this one off today. I don't think that's gonna happen. My boss did say potentially trying to get me back for today, but we'll see what happens to that. Why are you coming towards me, Wally? Um, yeah, so. Yeah, that's this. I don't even think I'm gonna get. I don't think I've got enough driving time to get home because I think it's about two hours to get home, and I'm on eight hours and twelve minutes driving now. I've still got five minutes to get to the place, so so I'm gonna have to try and get back within an hour and forty minutes. So I'm trying to think it's doable. Uh, it'll be a push, be a hell of a push. Obviously, I'll have a forty-five minute break as well to be able to drive that far. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen yet. It would be nice to get him tonight, but we'll see what happens to that. And then tomorrow I'm doing two runs of exactly the same as this. So yeah, exciting things. So I don't think it is a military job, I think it was just me being silly because I, I saw Yeovilton. It, I don't actually have a delivery dress yet. But, yeah. So we'll go in there and we'll collect these cabins and then we'll, we'll figure out where we're going from there because apparently that's when they're giving me the address. And there's Newport Pallets, which I used to do a lot of work with Lenham for, with whatever. Just take a lot of pallets in there and then, then go up the Cedar or something like that. Turn left. Alright, so going up this way somewhere. Never been up this bit of road before. Been down there to the Brick Place, Marshalls. We've done some work with them a few times. Can't remember if I've got any of that on video though, doing the bricks out of there. Right, I'm just gonna, everyone's just gonna keep coming. Okay, that's fine. I'll sit and wait, not a problem. Oh, this van's letting me go. Thank you, car. You did flash me, you did see that. Thank you. All right, so somewhere up here is a place that does cabins. I don't think it's where it's taking me down here, is it? Pretty, ah, there it is there, I think. Straight ahead. I believe. So we'll, we'll come up and we'll pop in there and see what's what. All right, I'm going to pop in here then, see what the score is, and uh, I'll see you in a bit when I'm loaded, I guess.
be loaded. I didn't take long at all. It's literally two lifts. So as you can see, they use a massive forklift. I just lift them on and then I chuck three straps over them and off we go. Jobs are good. And that's all you need on these things, three straps. These ones ain't wide either, so they don't overhang the trailer at all. So nice and simple, really. <laughs> yeah, quite don't mind doing these sort of things. Um, the only problem is, it's two hours and 15 minutes to get home. I've only got an hour and 45 left of driving, so <laughs> I'm not getting home tonight. Never mind. Uh, if I pushed on a little further last night, I could have got home today. You know, it's a, it's a matter of half an hour. But it is what it is. It doesn't matter. I'll be able to get the guy home tomorrow because I've got to do two of these runs tomorrow. So I will end the video tonight. So, uh, yeah, you, you don't need to see me doing this three times over. <laughs> yes. So if, if you were on the A303, where you got Sparkford, where it goes into single carriageway, at the moment they're turning that into dual carriageway between Sparkford and Nilchester. So you're going to be able to go straight through there. Yep, I'm delivering cabins, which are going for the work, going there for the workforce that are uh, doing that part of the dual carriageway scheme. So, all right. So before I was rudely interrupted with the battery dime. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm delivering uh, cabins, which are going to be for the workforce that are working on the A303 between Sparkford and Nilchester. So. What it means is when that's complete, you'll be able to drive straight through. There won't be a pinch point there anymore. Hence, getting rid of some of the uh, holiday traffic or any traffic that you'll get on the 303 at that particular pinch point. So, you can thank me later. <laughs> yeah, they need to do that at all the pinch points, really, because the A303 is ridiculous at times. It really is. It's, it's like a main route from pretty much anywhere east to head to the west. So, yeah, it, it just gets so heavy, heavily clogged, sort of, especially summertime. Anyone going from Cornwall to, or uh, going to Cornwall or Devon from anywhere sort of that side of Salisbury, pretty much all come through that way, so the traffic gets mental. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to head back as far as I can. I'm going to ring my boss in a bit. See what he says, because obviously I said I'm not going to be able to get it back. You know, hopefully he says like he'll come and pick me up from like halfway away and drive the truck back and then drop me off at home or whatever. So we'll see what happens with that. He'll probably bring a van out and then tell me to take the van home, which will be lovely. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back as far as we can, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you a little bit later. Probably a bit dark, so you might not be able to see me well yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I decided now to stop at Gordano Services because that's going to keep me within a nine hour drive, so I'm not wasting a 10. So it's going to keep me within a 13 hour day, which means I also won't use a reduced rest as well, which is nice. So it means I'll be saving a long day for when I need it and a long drive for when I need it. So yeah. <laughs> no point throwing them away if you don't need to. Would have been nice to go home tonight, but like I said, I would have been half hour too. No, I'd, uh, I would have needed to make up half hour, and there's no way that's going to happen. <laughs> need to make a magical half hour. Never mind. Oh, that's what I do, mate. It's quite nice. I've got food with me, but I might go in and get something a bit cheeky. See what they got. Can't be asked to cook. I'd rather pay. I think today. <laughs> I don't know how much it is to park here for the night, but I'm sure we'll soon find out. It's probably going to be 30 quid or something like that. Usually is for these. I think it's a moto. I'm pretty sure it's a moto. So yeah. Hopefully there's a space in there. It's only, what, 10 to 5, so there should be space, you would have thought. But yeah. We should be alright. Jesus. Everyone's slowing down, look. Why are they slowing down? Mad people. Yeah, it should turn me light on that. Nah, it won't turn me light on So I look like a lemon driving down the road with the light on. I'll we'll put it in red light. Put the mood light on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Right, in 
we go. See if we can find the space. And then we'll sign it out for the evening. Oh, loads of space. Look at that. All the space in the world. The question is, where do I park? Let's put that inside over right there. Is that a fridge unit? I don't think I'll park next to a fridge if I can help it. Um, that's a foreigner with a curtain cider. Uh, a fridge over there. Is that a fridge? Don't like fridges. I've got a, I don't know. Yeah, these spaces are tight, aren't they? the video done so uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if not thumbs down it's entirely up to you also I release videos at 6 p.m. every Monday but if you want you can subscribe to my channel and then you can hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe thingy and it will give you notifications when my videos are released also share my video with someone you think might like it and leave a comment when was the last time you got stuck trying to go up a hill? <laughs> I don't know why I say these. No one ever comments on the subject they say anymore. So, uh, never mind. All right, I might actually move somewhere else. I might move over there somewhere. I don't know. Depends what fridges are running. You see, so I can help it. I'd rather not park next to one. So obviously, I have that buzzing away all night, and they're quite noisy, horrendously loud. It's it's not the buzzing that gets me. It's when they start up because. It's quite noisy when they start up. Right, that's me done. Tomorrow I'm running two of these cabins to exactly the same place, and that's pretty much going to be me all day tomorrow. So yeah, we'll crack on and do that. So take it easy, look after yourselves, drive safely. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbyes! <laughs>